you're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Okay, we're live. Welcome to another Nerd Stalker interview. Good morning. This is Greg Valoria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Today, we're speaking with Shane Skinner, CEO of Record 360. We'll be talking about this new service that just launched. Uh, well, not just launched, but launched a few years ago. But um, it's fairly it's a fairly new service in, in everyone's mind to help with rental, uh, you know, car, truck, or anything you rent disputes. And we'll let Shane talk about that in a little a little bit later. But anyway, good morning, Shane, and welcome to uh, Nerd Soccer Live from uh, Seattle, right? Yeah, th thanks for having me, Greg. I appreciate it. Well, so, you know, let's let's get into this. And why don't you tell the Nerd Soccer audience about a little bit about yourself, your background, I thought it was interesting when we were talking offline and about uh, Record360 and why you developed it. Yeah, sure thing. So uh, so I worked for Enterprise Rent-A-Car for 16 years. It's, uh, it's the largest car rental company in the world. And I uh, started with them in Philadelphia. They sent me out to Europe. I was there for four years. Sent me to Los Angeles. I was there for four. Sent me to, they, they told me I got promoted to Wisconsin. I still uh, question that when there's two feet of snow on the ground in, uh, in February. But uh, so I went to Wisconsin. I was there for three. And then I ended my, my career. I was with them for uh, close to five years here in, uh, in Seattle, overseeing the Northwest. So uh, Washington, Alaska, parts of Idaho and Oregon. Um, and everywhere I went, we had the same problem, which was the exchange of assets during the rental process. We were using the little one inch by one inch paper diagrams to document the condition of our vehicles. Uh, and, you know, and you put your little X's and O's on it, you know, you, you give a, you know, a $40,000 asset to a customer and, you know, they're, they're along, you know, on their way. So, uh, so with that, you know, that antiquated process is what we found was, you know, we were losing a lot of money and missed damages that wasn't captured during that exchange process. And when we did find damages on the, on the vehicles and we engaged the customers, you know, a lot of times they didn't, you know, because there were comprehensive type losses, they didn't realize they had maybe done it. Maybe it was done in a parking lot, you know, maybe they let, you know, their, their, you know, friend borrow the car, whatever the case may be, but there was a lot of damages uh, that the customers felt we were accusing them of uh, that they had not thought they, they caused, or it may have happened during a, during a previous, uh, a previous rental. So what we found with that is whenever we engaged somebody on something they didn't think they did, they didn't feel really good about it and uh, we were losing a lot of customers during that process. And then the third big piece was, you know, we're renting billions in vehicles, you know, doing billions in asset exchanges every year as a company and we had absolutely no clue as a, as a management team what our product quality looked like. And uh, the car rental industry is very, it's become very commoditized. So you're only competing on a few things, pricing, customer service, and uh, condition of your assets because everyone's pretty much running the same car. You differentiate your product by, you know, having a cleaner car, you know, with uh, in better condition. And we had no clue. We were literally flying blind in terms of uh, uh, asset quality, vehicle quality. Mm. So I'm like, you know, there has got to be a better way than one inch by one inch paper diagrams of a, of a vehicle. So, uh, you know, I, I went, you know, and I saw some industry trends, you know, you had the, you know, the advent of Dropbox, so you had video file sharing. So I'm like, okay, if we rented a car in Seattle and dropped it in Los Angeles, we can pull down that file. Uh, network speeds were improving. So the days of, you know, uploading a, a heavy data file taking an hour, you know, now that takes literally seconds. And then, the, you know, the biggest thing was every time a new device came out, you know, whether it's tablet or phone, you know, the big feature that's usually touted in, in you know, the marketing efforts is, uh, is the camera quality, you know, the pixelation quality. And it's gotten to the point where you know, I, I bought my wife a really fancy camera uh, for my one-year-old and four-year-old to take photos, and, uh, but I'm using my phone for almost all the photos because it's easier to use and the, you know, the, the quality of the photos are as good if not better than an expensive uh, camera that we've got. So I saw these three industry trends, technology trends, and I'm like, you know, I, I think I'm on to something here. Um, there's an opportunity to create a better solution to solve, you know, those big three big problems, which is again the missed damages, you know, the disputes and customer service issues that went along with them, you know, and providing some window in to uh, to fleet quality. But I knew, you know, I couldn't just hang my hat on car rental, albeit it is hundreds of millions of transactions a year, you know, and trillions of assets being exchanged. So I did some research and found, um, you know, it wasn't just car rental that was, that was having this problem. You take your car to the dealership, the body shop. Uh, heavy equipment rental, 
transport companies, freight forwarders, tow, tow companies, VRBOs, apartment rentals, property management. I mean, it really was, it was billions of transactions and trillions in asset exchanges being done every year using paper. So, uh, so, you know, again, we went down the path, did, you know, did our research, knew we were onto something, uh, and created Report 360, which is, in a nutshell, it's a digital documentation solution that uh, provides a great quality uh, documentation file. You're able to capture and point out uh, damages, points of interest, and all that rolls into an asset management platform, providing that final window in to your, uh, to your product quality. Again, whether you're a car rental company, you're, uh, you know, you want to do QA for a body shop after work's been completed, um, transport companies, property management, VRBOs, and so on. So, uh, in all those industries that I mentioned, we actually, we have paid customers. We just launched three months ago, so we were in beta for, uh, you know, really fine-tuning the product for the first 12 months. Mm -hmm. uh, and we launched about three months ago, and we have customers in all those verticals that I named already. So, it's, uh, it's exciting. Well, like, so, so this, what you said, it, it really kind of protects both the business as well as the consumer or the renter, right? Exactly. And that's, that's what's fun about it. You know, it's not, you know, there's a lot of products out there. There's a lot of great ideas that might be focused on, you know, helping a, a, a consumer. It might be help, focused on helping a business. But what's neat about our product is I feel like we're, you know, we're like the third party, you know, independent third party escrow for these files. So we're really helping both parties. I mean, we're creating a fairness during that exchange process. Um, and it's fun to get feedback from, you know, you're helping companies save money and you're helping consumers to, uh, to not be charged for frivolous damage claims that, you know, they, they had not done and may have been charged for in the past. So it's, uh, you know, it's rewarding the, uh, this whole, this whole venture too. And, uh, you know, we've gotten great press on the consumer side, you know, cause again, there's two sides of the transaction, the business and consumer. Um, so, you know, not only are we getting great traction with business accounts, but uh, you know we've been in everywhere from Forbes.com to Fortune to Entrepreneur Magazine to uh, the, you know we're in the Seattle Times here on Monday, Washington Post, US Today Travel because it really resonates. It's hard to find somebody that hasn't had a bad experience during an asset exchange. You know whether it's you know you rented your apartment at, in college and never got your deposit back, you know, or you rented a car from uh, from Enterprise and we're, we're you know you got a, a bill you know a couple of weeks later in the mail for damage that you had not thought you, you caused. So it, it, it definitely resonates well. Um, and it's a big problem. Well, you know, I was going to ask you, you know, from a, from a kind of a business standpoint, you know, it makes a lot of sense to kind of minimize this kind of, uh, or level the playing field of, you know, who said what, right? Yeah. Hey, I agree with you. Those, those one inch little diagrams with the four wheels, you know, yeah. you're looking on top of the vehicle, yeah. little guy <laughs> scratching your, but you know, a lot of times when I went to the, 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 at least, you know, the rental company I used, I didn't use Enterprise, so you could guess yeah. who the other two was, right? So I, 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 the guy would, it, the guy was so stacked up with vehicles at like four to five o'clock because we're all trying to catch a plane freaking yeah. in, in somewhere that he was he wasn't even checking the vehicles. <laughs> you know, I mean, he'd like walk around and kind of like, okay, yeah, th yeah, thanks, Mister Valoria, for you know choosing uh, whatever, and then you know, wait, wait, we'll, we'll send you a claim in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so it's like you know, I, 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 can, I, can, I can imagine from a CRM standpoint, it's kind of like you know, it's kind of like getting. A, a you know a speeding ticket in the mail two weeks later after the thing happened it's like what what yeah, <laughs> you know what happened? Happened it's interesting if you uh, you know you do a Google search on on car rental disputes I mean literally Greg you could read to the end of your days because uh, it's it's really is endless I mean there's a lot of a lot of those situations where people do walk away you know they get on their flight they think you know everything's fine and dandy and they they'll get a bill a few weeks later and again it's not you know it's not the car rental company attempting to do anything. Uh, inappropriate. It's just, it is what it is. They go back and look at the last rental, you know, and again, they're going off those paper forms or nothing at all. And, uh, you know, and they're trying to recoup, you know, fairly, you know, mm -hmm. rightfully trying to recoup their losses. Now, you know, let's uh, take the audience through what a typical flow of using Record360 would like. I think that would be kind of interesting. You know, you, you don't have to you know, demo it, but you could just take them through the flow of how, you know, how the transaction goes. It seems like pretty simple. It is. It's super simple. I mean, the underpinnings are really complex. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, there's, there's, you know, 10 plus verticals that we're in today and all those verticals and then customers within their verticals have their own unique uh, uh, check in, check out documentation process needs. 
So we have a very configurable workflow, and I like you know I compare it to you know my four year old loves playing with Legos and he loves building Legos, taking them apart, reordering them. That's what we're able to do with our workflow to to you know really provide a great solution to all of these different uh, verticals and customers within them. So, but to the con to the actual user, you know we knew you know keeping it very simple. You know, we knew transaction time was important because people are trying to catch their flights. You know, they are, you know, trying to get to work. They are trying to get home to see their families. So uh, for them, I mean, it, it literally is as quick as you can walk around and do a video. And you simply just tap the screen and you see points of damage. Uh, you're able to, you know, capture an entirety of the asset. And the video, you know, it, it's not where you did mark on the paper contract that you have your disputes. It's where you don't mark. So a video provides a full... Uh, quality, you know, documentation. You can augment it with voice. So you know, if you got you know, the inclement weather, you have got you know, maybe the car is dirty or whatnot, and it's hard to pick up, maybe via your your camera, camera phone. Um, you're able to augment with voice, and then again, augment with those touch notations, where then you're able to tag those notations with specific, uh, customizable. Um, uh, uh, tags so you know whether it's large dent small dent and we're able to provide values to those tags and that's where the asset management part is really pretty awesome for our company we're able to you know we're, we're building out a, a scoring system uh, where you know you can if you have if you're enterprise and you have hundreds of thousands of vehicles in fleet we're able to score out and tell you as a manager or as a CEO or as a CFO you know what is the most damaged vehicle in my fleet so then they can go and take action on it, whether that means, you know, during the cycling decisions where they're put, you know, putting new cars in and pulling used cars out, they're able to choose those cars that are in worse shape or, you know, pick up the phone and call a branch and say, hey, you know, that's not a good representation of our brand. You need to go get that vehicle fixed. So wow. it really does. But again, as quick as you can walk around the vehicles, as quick as you can, you know, you can do a documentation. And we're going to take it a step further. We're in a, we're in partnership talks with a, a large technology firm in regards to image recognition and machine learning to take the subjectivity and the human error out of even that simple documentation process and our solution will go as far as telling you you know where the damages are and what the differences are from rental to rental so wow. it's going to be uh, I think it's going to be really special here in the uh, the coming months Wow yeah and I, and I think well you know let's shift the business a little bit and talk about that it, it, this this service uh, I guess for the for the for the company side, um, it could be integrated into their workflow fairly easy. You just said right somehow. Yeah, very much so. So whether it's uh, you know we we have APIs where we can put pull data, push data, you know, or we can just lift out our entire solution and drop it into you know maybe an RO system or CR system workflow. So it's uh, again very uh, nimble, you know, and uh, you know. It, yeah, and again, it, it provides to again all those different verticals. It, there's a, there's opportunity for a solution to fit in into the workflow in some some capacity. So, is it a uh, now? Let's talk about a little bit about the the revenue model. Is it for the consumer side, just a downloadable app that you charge, or is it no. freemium? On the or consumer side, it's a freemium. So it's it's a standard workflow. It's a set workflow, so they don't have the customization features. You know, and there is a, a limit on transactions, but I mean, for a general user, travel, uh, corporate traveler, even they're going to have plenty of room to do whatever they need to do to uh, to to cover their assets, as we like to <laughs> cover their assets. <laughs> okay, I caught that. I caught that. <laughs> and, then on the business, and then on the business side, you know, it's uh, it's a SaaS model, uh, yeah. So you know, it's easy to implement. And again, you don't have to go out and buy hardware. You know, we can leverage. You know, your, your in most cases your current. Uh, employee devices or tablets or whatever they're using for you know their other software needs. Wow, that's cool. So, um, so you know, we went through some of the revenue model, but like from a business standpoint, you're a startup. How many people on your team? It seems like you need a lot of people for this type of thing. <laughs> We're getting there, but we have uh, there's nine of us today and wow. uh, and growing. So again, we only launched you know about three months ago, and um, but yeah, I mean every every month, you know we're Grown and grown and grown. We got over fifty customers now. Um, you you know uh, names you you know, maybe you've heard of uh, Penske. We have their uh, SoCal dealership group. Uh, we have a large car sharing company on board uh, that we're expanding with right now. We have uh, Mitsui, which is uh, the fifty billion dollar Japanese uh, conglomerate. We have their their rent equipment rental arm here in the U.S. Uh, Flight Car, which is a car sharing program based in San Fran. 
um, that if you take your car to the, the airport, they'll rent your car while you're, you know, you know, while you're on travel. So, uh, so we have them as a customer nationwide. So yeah, we're, uh, we're making great progress. It's fun. Wow. Wow. That's great. Well, nine people. And yeah, and I think we talked offline, you bootstrapped all this. That's amazing. I mean, now you have some, obviously some angel, angel rounds now, but yep. still that that's just freaking amazing. Wow. Fun. Now, were a lot of these people on your team of like, how did you, you know, I think what a lot of startups ask me is how do I put a team together? Like, were these people you knew already uh, from industry or were these like, you know, you just had to start from scratch. I had this idea, go find a technical yeah. guy, go find, you know, what, how did you do this? Yeah, and that, that's the, it's, you know, I, for me, the most enjoyable part was putting together what, what I think is an outstanding team. You know, and it started with my co-founder, Damon Haber. Him and I worked together in Los Angeles. Uh, we wrote the business plan and launched the, uh, the luxury car division for Enterprise together, which is now a uh, very large, uh, uh, successful division within the company. Um, so that was an easy one. We had a great re working relationship. You know, we worked together for years. Uh, but then from there, just, you know, you know, network, 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 right? And, you know, you find talent in the most interesting of places. Um, so as an example, my CTO, uh, I'm also on the board for the Special Olympics here in Washington. Uh, and a fellow board member does a lot of startups. And I was, you know, telling him about a year ago that I was looking for a CTO. Uh, and his prior CTO that uh, the two of them had a successful exit on um, was looking for an opportunity. So connected us. And, uh, you know, months later, we got Greg Harrison on board as our CTO. You know, very accomplished. He was the SVP of product dev for Comscore, you know, the, uh, the large, uh, you know, kind of the Nielsen ratings for the internet. Um, so, I mean, again, a great track record, successful exit in the past. Uh, and then through one of our investors, we were looking for some marketing help. Uh, and we came across Keith Monroe, who was VP, <coughs> VP of, VP of uh, global marketing with EA sports. So, I mean, just, just impressive to say the least, uh, you know, branding, uh, guru, you know, ex Unilever, and, uh, you know, so I put together this great core of four outstanding folks. Uh, my Ryan Anderson, my VP of sales, I met him through, uh, again, networking through a good friend, knew I was in the market for looking for somebody. Um, yeah. So, you know, networking, you know, letting people know what you're looking for. And then once you have an opportunity to get somebody on board, you know, you know, having the, uh, you know, sharing your vision and getting them excited about your vision. So, uh, you know, so they want to come, come work for you you know, for what usually is, you know, more equity versus salary. And uh, so, you know, they're taking all rest too. So, uh, but it's fun. We got an outstanding team. I'm really, uh, really happy with the team. Yeah, I think with all the verticals you just mentioned, uh, you'll need a very strong team to attack each one, uh, you know, yeah. wholeheartedly. So, so and then we you know, we filled the gap with uh, an advisory board. So where we where we had weaknesses, we went through and filled that. And I've got some really really impressive folks on the advisory board. Um, again, they're helping out because they enjoy it. You know, they want to you know they want to see see us to be successful. And you know, it's not you know always about you know the cash compensation to draw people in. It's about them uh, you know making a connection with them, you know, networking and, and, you know, wanting to be successful and enjoying what they're doing. Right. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's great because I think you put it together what I call the ideal model for a startup is that actually having a board or advisory board to kind of guide, guide you along the way as well. Wow. Great. That's fascinating. Okay. Well, I'll let you get into your week. I know we just started here on Monday here and I'm sure with 50, uh, 50 verticals you're attacking and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting out of your beta, I think you have a lot of work to do. But anyway, uh, you know, uh, tell uh, everyone in the audience uh, how to get a hold of Rec Record 360. Yeah, so you can uh, you know visit our website at record360.com. Um, you know, also, I mean, feel free to uh, email us at info at record360.com and uh, you know look us up. And uh, you know, it's uh, again a great op you know a great solution, a great product. You know, we're solving a big problem, and uh, happy to help anybody that that could use it. Okay. Wow. I, I appreciate your time. And um, anyway, uh, thanks again. Uh, anyway, that was uh, Shane Skinner. That was a uh, pleasure, Greg. Oh, yeah. So thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Valoria, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Okay. Thanks again, Shane. Take care.
woke up in the morning and I found my girl was gone. It's a 50 in the table and a note upon the phone that says you got no life.